So you now have 28 dominoes, and which are your, your two colored chips, and we have three friends that we're going to share them. They're big heads we drew on the whiteboard, okay? So if, you, if this was you and your friend, your friends sharing the dominoes, you would be sitting there together, and you would start divvying out, and you would say, okay, here's one, here's one, here, one for you, one for me, one for her, right? So go ahead, and on your whiteboard that should be flat on your desk, you'll have to move your books and put your whiteboard flat. See how Daniel has hers? This is a good way to do it. She has her book in her lap. That's not going to work. Put your book in your lap. And your whiteboard flat on your desk. Shh. You don't have to talk to each other about it. Move your homework book. Okay, so go ahead and give each of you one chip. Shane, move all your chips off your board. We're not stacking towers. Thank you. Give each of you and your friends one chip. One chip. Your board should look like mine. Okay, so I know you guys know what to do next. What are we doing? Andy, why do you have so many chips in your circles? How many are you supposed to have in each circle? So let's make it one in each circle. Why do you have so many chips in your circles? Okay, I'm going to ask this class to, to the whole class. If you have more than one chip in the circle, why? Empty your circle so you just have one chip in each circle. I shouldn't have to point out to five different people the same exact story. Okay, I appreciate that many of you know what's coming next, but you're going to do it with me, not on your own. All right, so we have 28 chips. Do we have enough to give everybody else another one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead and give them each another one, and then stop. Do we have enough to give everybody another one? Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Do we have enough for another one? Yes. Go ahead. You continue this process. However, if there's extras and there's not enough to fill each one's again, there will be leftovers. So make sure everybody has a fair amount of chips and keep the leftovers out. So go ahead and finish the process and leave the leftovers out. Okay, please turn to your neighbor and tell them how many are in each circle. Raise your hand if you had leftovers. No, not your voice, your hand. Raise your hand. Put a finger, finger or two or three or four showing me how many leftovers you had. How many leftovers you have? Okay. Could there potentially be one leftover? Yes. Could I have four leftover? No. Who can tell me why four leftover will not be acceptable. Why four leftover doesn't work. We can have one leftover for sure. Can we have five, four? How is that impossible, Tony? Because if there's, if there's four leftover, there's still enough to give everybody. Another one, right? If your number, you're dividing by three, dividing into three groups. If there's four leftover, we're not stacking them, Shane. 
if there's four left over, you have enough to give everybody an extra one. Okay? So, we should have nine in each group with one left over. Correct? So, down here at the bottom it says, how many counters are in each group? How many were there in each group? Nine. Nine. And how many were left over? One. It's one, not one. Okay. So go ahead and fill in your book. You don't have to do the circles because we already did those. Fill in your book right now. All right, so you guys should have written already on that page um, that there was nine counters for each in each circle and there was one left over. Again, it's asking you at the top of this page in our brightness here. There we go. How many dominoes does each player get to have? Raise your hand if you can tell me how many dominoes each player gets to have. No, no that's a raising your voice. I said raise your hand. <coughs> raise your hand if you know how many dominoes each player gets. Shane, stop stacking them. Elijah, how many dominoes does each player get? Right. And how many dominoes were left over, Aureli? One domino is left over. Okay. Go ahead and fill that out in. The hot question says, how, explain how the model helped you find, okay, Explain how the model helped you find the number of dominoes each player receives. Why is one counter left outside of the equal groups? Now, this question, we're not used to writing with math. This question isn't as hard as it sounds. Think about how did, how did doing the model, where we had the circles written out and putting the chips in it, how did that help us find out how many dominoes each person would get and why did we, why is there one left over that was left outside the circle? Okay, so I want you to take a minute and you're going to write down and everybody's going to be responsible for sharing their answer. So I want to see everybody writing down in their book. Okay, so I have nine, I want each person to get nine chips, but I need to find out how many people I'm going to be giving it to. So the best way for me to do it is to take those 28 chips and divide it basically into rows of nine. So my circles are too small. I was thinking my chips were smaller. <laughs> so pretend these are my circles. Okay, right now you're just watching. You can do yours in a minute. You can make bigger circles. So I'm basically just going to make rows of nine until I'm out of my chips. So, who gets these chips? This row. I'm not done, by the way. Erica, right? Or somebody. Miss Harris. Who gets this row? Miss Jill. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep doing my chips. I'm not out of my 28 chips yet. I still have about four more. And these are all in my circles that are so well, well displayed here. Okay, there's my leftover. Okay, so I've done this, the way I've presented them in my circle is I've kind of made them in a row so I can see mentally that each, if each person gets nine, I would have three people that can do it. What this is showing you is that when you're dividing, when you're dividing by a number, you can put it into that many, whoops, that many groups that it's asking you to divide by. So 28 divided by 9, make 9 groups, divide out your chips, and you're going to get what your answer is. Okay? In this case, we had 9 groups because it was asking us to divide it by 9. 
And we had how much in each group? Three. And how many left over? One. One. So there's three people that can play and each have nine chips and have one left over. I know this is a totally tricky way to see it. It's, it goes with the math fact families. You guys know when you're doing an, an addition fact, you would say 3 plus 4 equals 7 and 4 plus 3 equals 7 and 7 minus 3 equals 4 and 7 minus 4 equals 3. Well, it, the same thing happens with division and multiplication. We add originally 28 divided by 3, which equaled how much? 27 Nine, one. Not 27 remainder 1. 9 remainder 1. So if we do 28 divided by the 9, we will end up with 3. We still have the same remainder. And that's a weird thought to think of. But that remainder is the same, no matter how we do the fat family. Okay? Why do you think they call it a remainder? Preston. Because it doesn't divide equally, so they call it a remainder because it's, it doesn't have enough to make another one. Okay, and why do you think they use the word remainder? Remainder actually is purposeful. Do you know why, Preston? Oh, because it's the only one left. Uh-huh, and what, so wouldn't we say leftovers? Mm -hmm. Why? What does remainders mean? How much there are left over? Mm -hmm. And what's the word in remainder that it better describes it, Owen? Remain, right? That leftover is what remains. When we did this division, this is what remained. So it's the remainder. <laughs> kind of like that, remain style. Okay. So on this one here, it says use counters to represent... How many players will there be? We already decided there's how many players? Nine. No, they each get nine chips, nine dominoes. There's three players, and how many left over? One. 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 So go ahead and write that in. 28 divided by nine will leave three players with one left over. All right, let's look at... Let's look at making connections. So I think that what you needed to realize and notice on that last one that we just did was that it doesn't matter which, which number you divide by, uh, which number it's asking you to divide by, you just make that many groups to split it up and find out. Okay? Looking at this one, use counters to find 39 divided by 5. You guys already have 28 counters. Think. How many more do you need to get? Think. How many more? 11. 11. So go ahead and right now get yourself 11 more counters. You now have 39 chips or counters. You're supposed to divide by 5. I want you to think how many circles are you going to make. Think about your answer first because I'm going to ask you why. Thirty-nine divided by five. You have thirty-nine counters. How many circles are you going to draw on your map? Raise your hand when you know. I should be getting an answer from everybody. Do you know the question, Luna? Because last time you didn't know the question because you were talking and now you're talking again. Do you know my question? No. That's fine. Get your chips quietly. It shouldn't take you long to get eight counters. But we don't all need to be involved. While he's getting his eight, 11, you could be listening to the question. Okay, one more time. The question is 39 divided by 5. You have 39 counters. How many groups are you going to make on your mat? I want to see 100% participation. You don't get to check out. You have to have an answer. Whether it's right or wrong doesn't matter. Lydia, I need you to sit on your bottom. I need 100% of hands. That means every single hand. 39 divided by 5. How many groups are we going to be dividing into? How many circles are we going to draw for dividing? It doesn't matter if your answer is right or wrong. 
Okay, go ahead and say it out loud real quick. Five. Five. Okay, I got five and seven. Now, some of you that are saying seven are already doing the math in your head. You're not doing the math in your head. You're going to be doing the math on the paper. So without doing math in your head, you only have two numbers to work with. What are you working, what's the big number you're working with? 39. Do you have 39 taken care of? Yes. Andy. So what number is not taken care of? Five. So what number do you think you're going to draw for how many circles? Five. Five. Go ahead and make your five groups of five circles on your, on your mat. All right, when we start dividing these up, we're basically one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm just going to count them, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm feeling close, so I'm stopping. Because 39 is as high as my counters go. So I've so far put 35 chips out. How many do I still have left when, that, when I put out my 35 chips, Christine? I still have four. Do I have enough for everybody to get one more? No. So I have... A remainder, excuse me, I have a remainder of four. What is my quotient then? What is my answer or quotient of 39 divided by 5? I know my remainder is 4. What's the rest of my quotient? I should see lots of hands because you guys have all done this already. Avani? Seven. Seven. How did you find seven, Avani? Um, nice and loud so everybody can hear you. Every, box has seven. Every circle has seven counters in it. So the quotient is seven, and the remainder is four, and this is how we write it. Seven, remainder, four. Shh. Then you don't have enough chips. So... This is how you would do it when you're doing your homework tonight and you don't have counters. If you do have counters, great. Your parents want to let you play with chocolate chips or, you know, Skittles or M&Ms or anything like that. Tell them that Miss Harris, see, I'm saying it on there. <laughs> Miss Harris says, I can play with M&Ms or chocolate chips to play, do my math. So, see, now you guys all should go to the blog and make sure your parents see that. So, you can do this at home on a piece of paper draw your circles, play with your M&Ms and your chocolate chips and divide them up to do your math. However, if your parents still don't want you playing with chocolate chips or M&Ms or Skittles, you can use pennies, you can use your pencil, just like Miss Harris did here. Do you see how I did it on paper here? You can use a paper, draw your circles, draw your dots in and count them just like I did. I was counting them. I was counting them as I was going. How many of you noticed that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I really didn't have chips or anything counters in front of me. I just did it by counting them. And when I got close to 39, I stopped to make sure I can fit, if I can fit any more. Okay? So you don't always have to have counters to do this. However, today's assignment you can do with the counters. Lydia? 